Hello and welcome to Crunch Time. My name is Jack Bogdan. <laughs> My name is Alex Grinling. And this is Warp Zone for the week of February 21st, 2011. First story, Apollo 18 trailer lands on Earth. So this is, we, we had put this in another Warp Zone, an old an old warp zone oh, from the far away year of 2010. All the way and, back in 2010, Alex. It, and it was the teaser trailer for this no, movie. No, it was the poster. No, the teaser poster. Teaser poster. This is the teaser trailer. Until now. No, no, no. Now. Well, right now. <laughs> right I, now. I was just reading what it said. <laughs> so what, does anything happen in this thing, or is this just all archive footage? It is not archive footage. It is footage shot today made to look like archive footage. This is all new oh, footage right here. This is what the movie looks like. It is Blair Witch in space with aliens and with like... I'm a little less excited now that you said Blair Witch. Well, maybe I could have said something else. I, I, it's, it's Cloverfield in space with aliens. But That's a little better. It I is like handheld cameras. Did you like Cloverfield? I like Cloverfield. Handheld cameras and cameras mounted in the ship that looked like they were done in the seven, in like back in the sixties and seventies. Oh man, look at this! Shit's gone wrong. You know, right? Well, damaged. Yeah. Shit. Footage damaged. <laughs> shit. Oh, those aliens damaging my footage. Those aliens, <laughs> get off my spaceship! <laughs> get off my moon! <laughs> Can Harrison Ford just show up at some point in the movie and say, Get off my spaceship! Did you see that little alien in the dude's helmet? Now he's sick. Uh-oh. See? Now he's infected. Ew. Right? And then he goes, so crazy. he goes space crazy. You never <laughs> want to go space crazy. That's the worst kind of crazy. <laughs> you get all boily and gross. Look, dead astronauts. I see dead moon. people on the moon. <laughs> oh, that's the face in the moon. I get the joke. <laughs> this is the longest teaser trailer ever. I think this is really just a trailer. I I think this is the movie. <laughs> yeah. I think we just Thanks watched the Thanks for watching movie. Crunch Time and Apollo 18. <laughs> <laughs> World premiere. <laughs> so that was the trailer for Apollo 18. Next up, Watson destroys all humans on Jeopardy. Oh, God, this is the beginning of the end, Jack. Why are people excited about this? First, they're or beating us at Jeopardy. Next, they're beating us in medicine. Next, they're beating our students in school because they're computers and we can't compete. All, no, the, no. all the good jobs are going to go to computers. Pretty <laughs> soon, crunch time is going to be run by computers. <laughs> it's already half run by computers. It is. I just have to tell them what to do. One day, computers will just run crunch time. And then a little message will pop up on the do, screen Jack. like, you're taking too long on this segment, or please stop slandering us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Dark days ahead, Alex. Mm-hmm. Unless you're a computer. Yeah. In no. which case, it's like a renaissance. Yeah, but really, actually, I'm so excited for what Watts, the technology behind Watson is going to do for medicine and other things like that, where you can be like, this person is showing signs of rash on their hands, they have a sore throat, and they are sneezing blood. <laughs> and yep. at and which point the computer, the computer will go, this human is too weak, we should just kill it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I hope that you are wrong. <laughs> the only answer, instead of like giving six options of what it could be, it just says, there is no hope. Well, yeah, buddy, if you subscribe to the logic of every, um, uh, computer rise to power and novels and TV and movies, then this is kind of the beginning of the end, I think. Thanks, I'm IBM. I'm not too optimistic God. about this. <laughs> I'm getting depressed. Can we go to the next story? Sure. MGM is moving forward on RoboCop remake and Poltergeist sequel. Another story about robots replacing people partially it's it's more of actually you know what this is actually a little sadder because it's a new robot replacing an old robot it is a robot that we've come to love yeah 
Robocop. So, who is is Aronofsky still attached to this? Do you know? I don't think he is. I think he's do he's sticking he's, with Wolverine. He's gonna be busy with Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. So do we know who's gonna be butchering this remake? No, no, we don't. But the, part of the part of the story is that they're doing the remake and then they're making a Poltergeist sequel. But the other part of the story, it, in the subtext, is that their MGM is kind of back on its feet after being like you know, it's true, near bankruptcy. Right. Um, so the Hobbit and James Bond 23 are in production as well. I don't know if we ever got a chance to cover those on Warp Zone, but like. MGM is b supposedly back on track to actually producing movies, which is what that company was built to do. Right. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's a happy thing. So there you as go. As long you as they produce good movies. <laughs> and and I, I love this trailer, by the way. I forgot who was in this movie, and it's kind of amazing. This movie's great. This I watched movie it is recently. Awesome. It's, it's, it's still amazing. <laughs> but talk about spoilerific. Like, there's just a Yeah, it is. They just, they didn't... Was this like an original trailer? Or yeah, is this, this is like the original tra trailer. Yes, it is. The future. Oof. Robocop! Yeah. Robocop. <sighs> so awesome. It is awesome. Uh, next up, Redbox to start online streaming Netflix competitor. Ooh. So what do you think about this? This is, first of all, this is an official Redbox video made in whatever, what is it, iMovie, I guess? <laughs> This is on the Redbox's <laughs> official YouTube page. Whatever. This is what. This is the production quality that goes in. They don't need to sell. There's no people at Redbox. There's just machines. See, Watson <laughs> already runs Redbox. You don't know this. Watson already runs Redbox. They're just now publicly unveiling it. Exactly. On game shows. <laughs> exactly. And so they're starting a streaming Netflix competitor, mm -hmm. which is interesting for a ton of reasons. First of all. It, it's a it's like a key it's like you know it's a rental kiosk that they put outside of 7-elevens and banks and all that kind of thing it's in, it's interesting to have them go to the digital era but i mean really they were they they're netflix without having to actually ship out to anybody you go to them right so it makes it does make sense um and i i, I think actually it's interesting how Redbox? much red they use and everything like that seems like such a blatant like We'll confuse people into thinking we're Netflix. Like, yep. is, isn't it a little bit like those movies that you see when, once upon a time when you went to stores to rent movies, you would see some like, there would be Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Treasure, and then there would be another movie called Pirates, Treasure of Dead People. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like that's what Redbox seems like to be. Like there's Netflix and then there's Redbox. I don't. Well, I think that Redbox was smart in that it it's a Redbox mm -hmm. and it happens to sell movies. I don't know if they were subconsciously going for the Netflix kind of like think red because that's what you should think with movies now um, and kind of like hop on that bandwagon. But I, I think they're wholly different companies until they launch streaming, in which case they are com direct competitors. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they're smart in that they saved a lot of money in production costs by just using iMovie and handheld cameras. And random people, not actors. <laughs> That's right. Probably employees. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know how you could compete with Netflix at this point, Instant Stream, because they have such a breadth of content across PS3, Wii, Xbox, like so many other tv box things well you, I don't... the way that you compete with netflix is you reach out to the content providers that provide all this content to netflix and be like netflix locked you in like netflix locked stars in at a 30 million dollar deal that deal would be worth 250 million dollars today so you go to stars and you're like we'll pay you 60 million yeah and then you get stars and then maybe they you don't renegotiate stars, with Netflix. And then and it the fragments. shitty quality movies that Stars puts up on Netflix. Oh, they're so bad. Don't shit on Spartacus, though. That is all they're I ask of you. They're and poopy. Uh... We have one last story. Man, this is like a scary episode. Okay. <laughs> Navy laser bread <laughs> trucker. Also... Now, I don't actually have footage of this laser, so I'm using the best footage I could find. <laughs> This is like the best and simultaneously the worst footage that you could have And found. I might add, it's in French, so it is not in English. But 
Uh, okay. Navy scientists working on a massive laser to mount on ships. Laser broke new records by hitting 500 kilovolts. Now, just for a bit of information, at 500 kilovolts, it can it can sink through 20 feet of steel a second. Jesus, where where does 20 feet of steel exist? Hole of, holes of ships. <laughs> there cannot be 20 feet of steel in a ship hole. <laughs> but but it gets crazier. The the <laughs> goal. You ready for the goal of this project? What the end goal is? Okay. One megawatt which can go through 2,000 feet of steel a second. That's too oh my scary. God. See, this, this all seems great until someone trips on the laser and inadvertently cuts the earth in half. That's what's gonna happen, right? Oh, okay. Like if this was one of those lasers, yeah. I guess that, that was like appropriate timing maybe. No, 20 feet of steel, that would have gone through him instantly. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is bad. They had to make 20 feet of solid steel just for this test. That Pro I it, do not think that exists anywhere. Not in nature, but... <laughs> 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 nature steel? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I know. I know it's not. I, I do know it's not. I'm just... I was joking, but now it's like I'm trying to like correct. And it's not like... It's too much. It's too much happening right now. So I'm going to end it. I'm going to be like... Hey, thanks for watching Warp Zone. My name's Jack Bogdan. <laughs> My name's Alex Grinling. And uh, if you if you do find twenty feet of steel, send us examples. <laughs> okay. Crunchtimeshow.com is where you can find all the details and everything. But we'll talk to you soon.